You two five on three. One, two, three. You two five. five. It's no pressure, no pressure. It's Youth 
Connect Group Live. With Daniel Bricker. Welcome back, everybody, to Youth Group yeah. Live. I'm What's so up? excited to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It's been a pretty interesting week. I actually just downloaded TikTok. Really? Uh, you know, last week, I just used my nice. wife to make that video, and uh, I downloaded it this week. You know what's interesting about that? There's a lot of things that are interesting about that. I've developed nerve damage from watching so many TikTok videos mm. when I go to the bathroom. It just My legs go numb, <laughs> just completely numb. Sitting on the toilet too long. Hey, you know what's great about this week, guys? It's uh, it's actually my anniversary. Today oh, is my anniversary. For real? Yeah, and you might be wondering, like, Carl, what are you doing here? Hmm. I'm wondering that too. Wow. And uh, and it's good to be with you. I'm yeah. celebrating my anniversary with you. We're going on, like I said, three years. Not not us. Not you and me. No 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 no, 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 no. My wife and I. Yeah. And you know what's crazy about being married for three years? What's that? It feels like fifty, in like a good way. I should establish it. Yeah. It's like we've been together That's forever. Exciting. And you know, shout out to my wife. I would spend another fifty years. Uh, with you, a real 50, not a three years yeah, con of 50. Rob. I love you, Vicky, is what I'm trying to say. Happy anniversary to you. Anyways, super excited about that. Um, and tonight. And, and tonight. And tonight, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. We're yeah, pumped. I'm pumped. It's going to be a good night. It is. What do we got, Mike? Yeah, no, uh, it's going to be a really, really fun night, man. We got a lot of things planned, a lot of exciting things. And uh, what we want to do right now is I'm actually going to invite Daniel, Pastor Daniel, Pastor Aaron, if you guys will come up on stage. Uh, we're going to kick this thing off, and it's going to be really, really fun. We're going to have a lot of great yeah. uh, things planned for tonight. So, um, Pastor Mike. Do we, Pastor Aaron's got a shadow. I, I, I brought Pastor Nemo with me, you know? Hey, Pastor Nemo. Our children's pastor. You already I, know him. How you doing, okay. man? I thought I'd show him what the big leagues look like. But, and, uh, but I, I thought when we talked that, this, this week, we, we said about bringing Pastor Shane, our, our kid's pastor, who, back. Who? Uh, pastor Shane. It's Shane? Yeah. Hey, it? how's it going? Pastor Whoa. Shane, Whoa. welcome back. Hey. Uh, this is a little you, awkward. You work with this guy? Yeah, but okay. Hey, I didn't know that listen, they were both going to be here. I didn't know there was issues you between you guys. No, well, we got to keep it easy, easy. This okay. Hey, I said I was show. exclusive, man. This is a family show. This yeah. is a family show. We had Shane, to humble ourselves around. to work together, and oh, we're, okay. expect, we're expecting the same okay. out of you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So can you guys I can work, it. Work, out, like, work together nicely tonight? I think I think we managed. Everyone needs to remain civil. We usually have civil. I, yeah. no, civil is my middle name. I, okay, okay, okay. Since there's some animosity right now, let's yeah, time. let's it's figure time. out a way to settle the argument. Who's better? Arm wrestling. My Dude, arm wrestling. Okay, yeah. Yeah. arm wrestling. Why don't you, uh, arm wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you we make them arm right. wrestle. Yeah. That's how we determine. Pastor Nemo, I'm not going to say I have hundred dollars on you, but today is payday, and uh, oh, chances man. are I do have money on Bro, this. Can so, what do you want from DoorDash? Why don't you come right up here, nothing, Pastor Mike? All right. If you lose, which hand are you doing? I'm moving out of the this office. One. I can do both. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. In the comments below, let us know who you think is going to win, Pastor Nemo or Pastor Shane. Six feet, boy. Loser has to do what? <laughs> I'm predicting 50 um, people commented. Banished from the show forever. Okay, that's Loser good. That's is banished good. from the show banished. forever. Banished. All right. Banished. Or no. in quarantine forever. Are you serious? All right, we got a five-second countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Evenly matched, I will say. Got quite the advantage for Pastor Nemo. Evenly He's matched. this guy's stretching all over. Heavy <laughs> breathing. <laughs> 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 it looks like Pastor, Sh Pastor Shane looks like he has to go pee at the same time. <laughs> So okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to determine a winner from arm wrestling. Yeah, you guys are looking pretty rough. Take a break. Pretty rough. Take a break. All right. Um, well, we'll great job, guys. Down, hey, why don't you go take a take a seat? All right. Yeah. yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, wait, whoa, Pastor Nemo, where are you going? <laughs> we still need you. Still take a seat. You're, you're we haven't still, settled anything. You're still essential, okay? We haven't settled anything. Oh. Pastor yeah, Nemo, go, why don't you have a seat very go six sit down. feet apart from Pastor Shane over there? Uh, How we doing, man? So we can't settle it with arm wrestling, so we have to do something else. Correct. So we invented a brand new game for tonight called Blender of Doom. Blender, Blender of Doom. Doom. Yeah, now you may be wondering, what is Blender of Doom and why are we talking about it on Youth Group Live? The answer I'm is... I'm not putting my hand in a blender. I've yeah, that's the arm wrestling that thing. No, absolutely mm. not. Or else you'll so turn out like Dwight here, Ooh, unfortunately. No, no head. Um, <laughs> so Blender of Doom works like this, guys. We have um, blended... Some of your classic, so you guys are kids pastors. So yes. We, we have blended some of the quintessential kids' church snacks, all right? Okay. And we've blended multiple snacks together to create these concoctions. And you guys are going to taste them mm -hmm. Ooh. and yeah. try to determine what snacks we've blended together. Yeah, yeah. we honestly might, we we might uh, mm -hmm. need to reimburse Shane here because we did take this from his pantry, <laughs> which would give him an advantage. <laughs> Um, I, I live off of snacks. But the joke's on them because they're all expired <laughs> but, anyway. But yeah. keto? Because, so. like, dude, like... You just ate, like, a big box at McDonald's, so I, I don't... Want to ask <laughs> you anything, dude. Well, I'm actually rooting for you. I don't know why I'm fighting with you right yeah, now, okay? Yeah, I was okay? going to say, are we supposed to be You're my guy. Up here? You're my guy. All right, so we have Come blended on, snacks. You guys are going <laughs> to taste them, try to guess what, what kids' church snacks are blended together. All right, I'm good with that. You guys it's ready? been a while since I've had kids' church snacks. Yeah, there you go. So, it's been about so eight here's the first one. Uh, let's talk about it's reddish oh, in color. It's red in color. Um, you guys can go ahead. You can yeah. yeah feel it free up, to I open guess. it up. Uh, you can smell it. We do it. have a time limit. Tell us what your what your thoughts are, and then uh, once you taste it, you can give us your final guesses. Um, we can't confirm or deny that these are might it be smells berry. Gross. It smells like saliva. Yeah. Ooh, Let, how about this on three? Oh yeah, I know. What you it guys is. Uh, consume it. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, not even giving them an option to like taste it a little bit before, just straight into it. Good, oh. bad, indifferent. What's the verdict? Uh, I'm a texture guy. Did you down it all? I, I just Apparently. got a little sip. That, I, I know what that is. That has to be, can I say? Yeah. yeah. Gushers. Well, it's gushers. gotta be gushers. Okay. Gushers. So but not the tropical one. It's like the berry. Pastor Nima, you said the same thing? I'm saying gushers with like raspberry jam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, here's what the kind of snacks you give it. Is it one or two? You things. don't want to know. It's actually two ingredients in there. So what? if you want to add really? another so one, what's there, the Pastor Shane. Are they right on gushers? No, they're not right on gushers. Close in the same oh, ballpark, same family. Geez. Yo, what? Is this fruit by the foot? Nope. Yeah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Whoa, it was just what is that? I mean. All right. Well, the gummies. I mean, there's gummies. Whoa, whoa, right? we got. Oh, there gummies. you go, gummies. All right, that's one. So okay. what else is in there besides gummies? <laughs> you got like five seconds. Five seconds. Think about gummies and. What is that? Three, two, one. Uh, they don't know. I, I, I got gummies, man. Strawberry jelly. Strawberry jelly. Also, there he is jelly. Say, okay. He, 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 he said close. raspberry, he so that was close. close. You guys close. were in the same family. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go with the next one. All right. Sounds good. Uh, round two. Hold on, I got a close. Round I would two. say, who won that round? Uh, they I would say both technically got yeah, one. Yeah, Ty. Here you go. They both technically got one. All right, so this one's a little darker in color. Texture looks <laughs> equally as disgusting. You know those things in youth group that I didn't want to do was one was eat stuff out of a bag that I did and not know. So you, so you jumped a kid's pastor to <laughs> yeah, get away my from My mom it. didn't sign a, sign a waiver, dude. Like, yeah, we so. don't do waiver. This is youth group live. We don't do waivers yeah. here. You just All do right. it. All right, right let's, let's get ready. Here we go. Three. You can taste them together as per usual. Here we go. This, three, we're looking for three ingredients here. Okay. Three. There's three. There's three. three. One. three two. One. Proceed. Oh, that looks so disgusting. Oh, oh, oh. we got a we got a burp. <laughs> That's nasty. It looks so gross. There is fruity pebbles in there. Uh, right? No. Uh, <laughs> tricks. <laughs> no. <laughs> no cereal. No, no cereal at all. No what, protein. <laughs> I don't think protein. Pro I don't think <laughs> you're feeding. If you're feeding your kids, church kids protein. Okay, <laughs> see, chocolate milk. Kids, though, you right? don't judge us. Okay. Oh, we got chocolate milk. We have chocolate pudding. So chocolate that's, pudding. That, that's close. Chocolate. Okay. So, okay. So that's one. There's two Lucky more. Charms. Lucky. No. No cereal. No cereal. No cereal. So Frosted Flakes. No. Nope. <laughs> it's like a fruity. Bro, what is it? 
Everybody gets one more guess here. So, Pastor Shane, actually, give us two things that you think it might be, and then Pastor Nemo the same. So, okay. Pastor Shane, go first. Hot chocolate or, oh, no, 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 I take that back. I There's not goldfish in there. I, I got to say, it's some sort of, is there a juice box in there? Uh, that's all I got. Is that's like some that's sort of juice very box. close. So, I'm going to let Pastor Nemo go, okay. and then I'll reveal it. So, I'm going with... A Rice Krispie Treat. Okay. Mm, and the offering money. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay. We got to speed this up, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cereal milk. Cereal. Okay, yeah. so we, we were milk. close. I would say Pastor Shane won this round because we had chocolate pudding. Okay. We had vanilla wafers. That's kind of close oh, with something that you mentioned. Vanilla wafers. And then blue Kool-Aid. Blue okay. Kool-Aid. All right. Three so that's berries. probably uh, where you're getting some of those cereals. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Ooh, All right, watch round three. We got two more rounds to go. Yep. Uh, this one has four ingredients. Four ingredients. So we're up in the game a little bit. Oh, it looks it. equally as man. The texture just keeps getting yeah, worse it, every time. Oh. It's looking like those diapers that Shane's uh, been All right, changing so you guys for are years. Both gonna try them. All right, ready? Three, two, and one. Take some time to guess. <laughs> Pastor Nemo's going first yeah, this time. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So four ingredients. Okay. You ready for this one? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm going with a carrot. Okay. Uh, uh, goldfish. Okay. An apple. Apple. Okay. And one more. And I'm just going to take a swing at this uh, ramen. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. A, he is the, a man that loves the, his ramen. The Let's perfect be honest. kids' church snack, ramen. Okay. That's it. Pastor Shane, give us your four here. Oh, I, I see the carrot now. Yeah, I, I can I can taste the mm, carrot. I'd say um, um, I would say carrot, obviously, but you know Nemo will get that if that is it. Um, then you have the snack, Shane. This this show does have a, a time frame. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, this isn't the <laughs> message portion. <laughs> yeah, goldfish. Ah, oh, shoot, graham crackers, mm. and. Um, mm. What's making him that <laughs> yellow? Pill? I, I that's what I got. Right, I got so three. Okay. Right. This was hard, man. So the got? correct answer is Teddy Graham's carrots, applesauce, and handy snacks. So I'm gonna give that round to Pastor Nemo. Okay, you, you both had some significant pieces there. there. Last rounds. Oh, here we go. It's like manna from heaven. Just keeps oh. coming down. I'm guessing this. There's five in here. One, two, three, four. Oh, if four I know how again. to count. The oh, best for last. We say Yo, the best for last. I can't last. do this. That's ready. I'm All not right, ready. So you are going to try them together. Uh, I don't think you can even drink them at this point. It's more of just however you can get it. Oh. Um, all right. Is so that a blizzard? Count three, however you need it. Yeah, it's a blizzard. <laughs> it's exactly that. It's all right. Funny. Three, two, one, and taste. I don't know why he's gagging. He had McDonald's right before this, you know? Reeks. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a better meal than that. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> We need to get. We don't even All right. have trash. Are you so true children's pastors? If you guys are going to, I'm throw calling up, your we bluff. We need to know. We need to know if you're going to throw up. All right. So Shane, you are up first. Yes. There's Cheerios oh. in there. Cheerios. Okay. There is. I want to say Rice Krispie treats in that one. Um, I don't know what's giving that funk smell. Your okay. face. That might be the Cheerios. Yeah. So Cheerios. I think Rice Krispies. I think there's probably some sort of like. Uh, um, those are all very <sighs> dry foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there's got to be baby food. I know there's got to be baby <laughs> food in there. Okay. Some sort of baby substance, like a squeezy pouch. Okay. Um. Yeah. So there's. I I'll give you okay, three because I don't know. All right, Nemo. Press, press, press Nemo. All right. Uh, cat food. Uh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cat goldfish. Food again. What we're feeding the kids in kids' church. Bro, I, you never know. Um, I'm thinking. Bro, that's in me. Oh, uh, the lucky uh, the the lucky charms. Yeah, Lucky Charms. Okay, one more. <laughs> it just smells like vomit. Uh, that's that's it. One more. <laughs> a, a communion wafer. Get get out of here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Pastor Carl's uh, diaper from his his baby. Uh, we have apple juice. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Cheerios, apple juice, animal crackers, and goldfish. Unfortunately, that's a tie. That is an exact tie. Yes. So luckily, we have tie. another game later that we can decide oh, nice. who is the better. I'm you, but better. <laughs> are still yeah. equal. Um, so for now, though, we're oh. all looking forward to a time when we can get back in church again. I'm sure as youth pastors, kids pastors, we're all looking forward to getting back. But the question is, uh, we can't hug right now, right? We can barely even shake hands right now. So how are we going to 
greet each other when we get back into church. Luckily, we don't know the answer, nope. but our friend Cool Carl does. So watch this video, and you'll see how we can greet each other when we do get back into the church building. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. <laughs> What's up? So some of you are finally coming out of lockdown, and your lives are starting to go back to normal. <laughs> Huzzah. How exciting. And that means we're going to be going back to church real soon. And with church comes the old greeting time. But things have changed. We can no longer greet each other the same old way because of germs and stuff like that. And we don't want to risk going back in quarantine again. <laughs> that was rough. <sighs> real rough. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Well, have no fear. Us here at Sunday Cool have put together a couple of post-quarantine greetings. And these greetings will not only make your friends feel reunited, <laughs> but they'll also make them feel safe. And safety is my number four priority. Don't ask me about the other three. Okay, I'll tell you. Number three, eat more cantaloupes. Stay away from antelopes. Number two, if you have corduroy, wear it. Number one, if you have AA batteries, keep them in your pocket, because you'll never know we need a AA battery. <laughs> okay, let's watch these greetings. Hey, how's it going? How you doing good? You doing good? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Hello, Carl. How are you today? Good, you? Good. Oh, no. What's I happening? I think we are shutting down. Oh, no. I was just beginning to love. Hey, Carl. Hi, Andy. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Andy. Hey, Carl. How's it going? Not bad. Can't cool. complain. I could, but who'd listen? <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, me either. Hey, Carl, put it there. Za. Za. Yellow. And then I said, that's not a toaster, that's my wife. <laughs> that's incredibly inappropriate. It's a joke. Hey, Andy. Hey, Carl. Chest bump? Sure. Okay. You okay? Let me help you. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Hello, Andy. Hey, man. How's it going? Fine. All right. Good seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you. Hey, Carl. Hey, Andy. What are you doing? I'm a dinosaur. Ah. I get that, but like, why? Uh, they're wearing a mask. So you bought a dinosaur costume instead? Yeah. Okay. Well, good seeing you. Good seeing you. Take it easy. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Cool. Hey, we hope that you enjoyed that video. Super awesome. We love Sunday Cool and Cool Carl. Uh, but hey, we are going to play a game, and uh, we are once again going to pit these not only youth pastors, but children's pastors against one another. And uh, you can see we have them swapped up a little bit here, but we're going to get into a fun game called Argumentary School. And so uh, Argumentary School, you can see the graphic right there. Uh, we are going to spin a wheel and we're going to pick a topic. And once we pick that topic, uh, these guys are going to have each a chance to defend uh, their side of what they kind of think, you know, of the topic. So basically, this is kind of like hot takes if you've, if you've seen Youth Group Live before. Um, it's a little bit different, but uh, we're going to get right into it. So 
Pastor Daniel, Pastor Nemo, and then uh, Pastor Aaron and Pastor Shane. We so, got you guys on this. So let's go ahead and uh, pick the topic. Wait, if wait we can. What, what'd you say? I said, don't say that name. <laughs> what? He Pastor still Shane? has animosity. Man. <laughs> Pastor Shane? Okay. I've forgiven him. Okay. All right, here we yeah, go. Let's, uh, let's pick this topic. Let's do it. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, spin the wheel. Boy, that's very small letters. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's, it's going to pop up. be fine. All right. Lifetime supply of condiments and sauces or complete control of all Nebraska billboards. So what do you want to do here? This is what we're going to do, I think, if you guys don't mind. I'm actually going to pit the children's pastors against each other. Guys, let's do some Rochambeau, a little bit of uh, rock, paper, scissors to kick us off here. Come on now. Uh, so we're going to count on three. I'm gonna, what good. I want you to do is I want you to do rock, paper, scissors, and on shoot, give me your answer. Are you okay. ready? Bet. Let's right. do it. Ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. Ooh. We lost? Ooh. No, we, we got paper. It's tied. It's tied. The paper uh, ready? Tie. Right, uh, let's try again. again. Rock, <gasps> paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. Oh, all that's right. Yeah, we did scissors, lose. Right? All right. So, oh, guys, we're going to have them all go right. first. So, what do you guys want to pick? Do you want to pick Nebraskan billboards for a lifetime or all the condiments and sauces? So a wise man once told me. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Which one are you going for? Oh, bro. We're getting there. We're getting there. No, you have to acknowledge. I'm about to. We're getting there. Okay, okay. Patience is a virtue, Eric. Eric. So anyways. How dare he disrespect me on my stage? I'm sorry. I don't remember asking you to talk. Are we going to have to call this? Are we? All right. Anyway. So a wise man once told me, once one must acquire the sauce, but one does not get lost in the sauce. That's why we're choosing the sauces. The sauce. We the want sauce. The sauce. juice. It's temporary, but yeah. sauce so, lasts uh, forever, bro. I like it. You guys get the Nebraskan billboards okay. over okay. here. They, so All right, so let's, let's have you guys do about a minute or so. Tell us why the sauce. Take us away, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, come, on, right. come on, man. Uh, Another degree. Come listen, on. sauces, food itself is not enough. Right. Okay. Uh, you need the sauces to complement the food. Right. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, I agree. Can't, you can't just have a, think of any food that you would consume on a normal basis. Yeah. Is it not instantly made better by a sauce or condiment? Corn dogs. Instantaneously. Corn dogs, brats. All of it. Polish sausages, bro. All of it. <laughs> bro, honey mustard. Like wings. Like what is what is a hot wing Ooh. without sauce? Ooh, what is a hot wing without boy? sauce? So that gold I, mine. Too dry. So yeah. So. There you nice. go. Come on. Right. Come on. All right, all right. Proceed. Well, Good job taking 41 seconds yeah. out of your minute. <laughs> hey, wow. You don't, you, you don't always need it all. <laughs> all right. Well, so Nebraska all. billboards, yeah. I'm going to give Nebraska, you a minute and 20 seconds. What, okay, so here's the deal with Nebraska. From <laughs> anybody that I've lear- known from Nebraska has been like a Princeton or a Harvard graduate. Mm. Um, so we're, we're working with the high brass in Nebraska. So if you control the billboards in Nebraska, you're controlling a lot of information. And when right. you control information, yeah. Yeah, and I would like to add to that, the opportunity that you have with billboards to spread a message. Absolutely. Oh, I don't know, maybe the gospel. Further the kingdom. Further the kingdom oh, nice, anywhere guys. in the state of Nebraska. And Point. they say that Nebraska is the hub of America. And so if I you believe can it, because Lincoln, 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 Nebraska. Flights come through. Uh, traffic comes through by driving. I, wasn't if it, you could just impact minute, uh, somebody on that 500-mile drive from the west to the east, imagine what that can do to the rest of the country or the world. I'm, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and you and you have. Uh, yeah. You we're, we're furthering the we're furthering the gospel. Furthering I, the gospel. I, I think that's most important. Oops, absolutely. What's condiments going to do to further the gospel? <laughs> know, right? All right. Well, hey, let's give these guys a chance to rebuttal back on why. Obviously, these men have not read First Complications 380. After acquiring the gospel, I count it all as sauce. <laughs> Boy, I mean, you need the sauce. Am I right or am I right? You're right. Go ahead. The Tell sauce, why. dude. Worcestershire. You got, what's another sauce? Give me another sauce. Buffalo. Buffalo. Bro, you, you need buffalo. Listen, Taco Bell sauce. You don't, you don't need a quesadilla without sauce. <laughs> Come on, son. What else? You need sauce. What you other sauce? There's a million. There's queso a million. sauce. Oh, oh, what's chips and salsa without salsa, uh, which salsa, is, I which would is argue, for? a sauce. So, sauce. Sauce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just hear that. You need I sauce. You need salsa. Yeah. I don't yeah. really hear. You know what's great? You can't get lost in the sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, I mean, what's great about the state of Nebraska, besides their beautiful billboards, right. is it's a corn state. Like, they just have corn everywhere. And you don't really need to add to corn. And one of the things I'm worried about with condiments is the hidden calories Correct. and as we are, are facing just a pandemic in our nation mm-hmm. of um obesity i worry what condiments will do to me long term oh. yeah because if you're focused on condiments if that's all you have right yeah it 
it, a serving size for some condiments is a, a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. But people take that as like a cup. No, I take the ketchup and, you yeah, know, exactly. I, I'm guilty. But so you I'm do guilty. use, so you're a frequent I'm user guilty. of sauces then. But <laughs> yeah. after this, okay. Because billboards have told me, check out this condiment. When was the last yeah. time you I, saw a billboard for a sauce? I haven't had, the, be the, I haven't had the ability to control the, <laughs> the billboards in Nebraska, but once right. that, that comes up, I'm And you know one of the, one of the great things sauce. about billboards is, too? When they're done with the uh, the signs and all that stuff, you can use that as like a slip and slide uh, on the other side by putting like soap and everything. It's amazing what you yes. can do with billboards. I will, I will give you this. You know who I have seen on a billboard? Guy Fieri. You know who Guy Fieri is? He's the mayor, mayor of Flavortown. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so, he's the pharaoh right? of flavor. The mayor of flavor. He is the mayor of Flavortown. You can't have flavor without the sauce. You uh, need the sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce is the basis of Christianity. Right. I mean, yeah, so go uh, ahead and try to say something negative about really Chick-fil-A sauce. Wow. We are getting argumentative to prove Chick-fil-A, Polynesian, right. buffalo, sweet well, and spicy sriracha. Boards. What would you choose? Ooh, yeah. Listen, yeah. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Thank you, Mom, for teaching me to love sauce. Also to teach Nebraska Billy Boards because Mother's Day is coming up. Ooh. I think we're actually going to transition into another game, if you will. Um, yeah. Okay. I think That's it's about good. time. And, That's uh, a good idea. Yeah. It's so, been a pleasure. All right. Well, we're going to have an awkward transition right now. Yeah, so we're just going to embrace it. Just embrace it. Um, Thank you so much, Pastor Mike and Pastor um, Carl. You can take a seat. I'm just going to spend some time with uh, Pastor Shane and Pastor Nemo here. Guys, here's the thing. We have Mother's Day right around the corner. And... Uh, I'm so thankful for my mom. Are you guys thankful for your mom? I, li I like having a mom. Yep. I love my mama. Nice. nice. Yep. What's uh, up, mama? Where, wherever you are. Yeah, it, it's so great to have a mom. And, uh, you know, all throughout the Bible, there are great mothers, mm -hmm. right? Wouldn't you say that? Absolutely. You teach on that in children's church, I'd say? Yes. Yeah. yeah Mary. Yeah. It's really important. Mary. Ruth. Yeah. Ruth. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, tonight, we thought we'd play a game with you guys. And we've really struggled to figure out who knows more or who's better than the other. So we're going to play a game called Moms in the Bible. Okay, Ooh, Moms aww. in the Bible. And uh, pretty much what's going to happen with this game is I'm going to ask you a question, and you are going to have to provide the answer. It's multiple choice, so don't worry. Uh, if you don't know your Bible too well, <laughs> we do have some guidance. <laughs> I um, didn't study. You didn't study, and that's okay. But um, I'm going to ask you questions. We're going to go back and forth. And the winner at the end will be crowned the champion of children's pastors in the South Central section. Wow. Okay? Okay. And there's no prize, but your reward is in heaven. Okay. okay. We got to wait so. for it. Anyways, uh, who it's wants to go time. first? Who, who would like to go first tonight? Nose goat. Pastor Shane won. I'll go first. Okay. So, Pastor Shane, you're going to go first, and here's your first question. She was the mother of the first baby born on earth. Is it A, Eve, B, Elizabeth, or C, Hannah? That is A, Eve, my friend. Well, you are in luck because it is indeed A, Eve. All right, we got Even a one nothing. Even the scripture reference. I appreciate what? that. Genesis 4, did you shout that out? I did not, but okay. it was if in my head. Okay, if you do shout it out, I will give you an extra bonus point. Oh, okay? Nice. Okay. So from here on out, just Come to let you now. know. All right, here's your next one, Pastor Shane. Uh, sorry, Pastor Nemo. Did you ever do that? This mom gave birth to twins. Was it Rachel, Ruth, your girl, or Rebecca? <sighs> Bro, I'm going to have to go with Rachel in Genesis. I am sorry, but that is Rebecca. We got a one nothing lead. But what were you going to say? Genesis what? 25. <laughs> that is correct, but I'm sorry. You did not get Can the point. Can I have point. that bonus, though? The you do get a bonus? bonus, but it's only when you get the answer right, okay? So, unfortunately, we are looking for Rebecca, but <laughs> don't leave Ruth out of this. Who knows? <laughs> what are you laughing at? This is great. I okay. Come on now. Question number. Oh, bonus question. All right, you can redeem yourself. Oh. Ooh. Do you know the names of the twins? Lord, help me. Je uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. Well, well, well. Looks like Woo! we have a Bible scholar on our totally hands. Totally redeemed yourself there, friend. <laughs> All right. Pastor Shane. You got it. It is a tie 1-1. These moms were sisters and married oh, to gosh. the same husband. Talk about awkward TLC. A, was it Leah and Rachel? Was it B, Elizabeth and Mary? Or was it C, Sarah and Hagar? Man, C. We're going with C. The correct answer is indeed A. But you know what? You did guess correctly on the scripture reference. I'm kidding. You did not. All right, what? here we go. We do have a bonus question, though. Do you know the name of the husband? Do you want me to go back to the question? Bro, this is hard, man. 
<laughs> Put me on the spot here. Do I need an answer? Can I, I mean, guess? Yeah. The, yeah. Whoever wants to go first, oh, I guess. Well, what was the is name it, of the lady? Is it Abraham? The name of the lady was indeed Leah and Rachel. Ladies. Yeah, yeah. Princess. Dees. Um, Anybody want to guess? <laughs> Bro, I'm going to have to go with Hagar. Well, we are indeed Jacob. looking for Jacob. Oh, what Jacob. I Jacob had What a sly dog. Yes, All right, yeah. Pastor Nemo. Yeah. We got a 1-1 one, one tire. We got this mom didn't have a baby until she was the age of a grandma. Was it A, Leah? Was <laughs> it B, Sarah? Or C, O, Susanna? Was it Sarah? The correct answer is Boy! indeed Sarah. Nice, Congratulations. And guess what? We do get another bonus question. Do you know the name of Sarah's son? Oh, it's one of them was Isaac. Yeah. Okay, the correct answer is indeed Isaac. So we got a 2-2 tie going on right now. And we are going to question number five. This is for Pastor <laughs> Shane. This mom was an Egyptian slave. Bad stuff. Was it Jemima, Aunt Jemima? <laughs> was it B, Naomi? Or was it C, Hagar? I'm going to go with B, Na Naomi. You're going with B, Naomi. And the what? correct answer is Hagar. Not even Aunt Jemima could have gotten what? that right. Yes. So I am sorry about that. I thought that. I knew my mom's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nice. That's awesome. Come on now. You guys need to, you know, maybe join women's ministry when all this is done. You've been in this family. district longer than me, dude. All right, here we go. This mom had to hide her son so he wouldn't be killed. Ooh. Was it Jochebed? Was it Keziah? Or was it Kieran Hapuch? <laughs> That's someone's real name, and you guys are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Nemo? Uh, I'm going to have to go with A, dude. It is indeed. What? A, congratulations. I knew that. And here is the bonus question. What is the son's name? <laughs> the are you Moses. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we got that correct. That's it, yeah. Phone We're cutting out bonus questions because it's creating a lot of awkward moments. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This was the mother-in-law who loved her daughter-in-law so much that she helped her find a new husband. Was it A, Orpa? Was it B, Ruth? Or was it C, Naomi? Pastor Shane. Yo. You just did this in the curriculum. Come on now. What was the curriculum we did? Yeah, no, no that's on the curriculum. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do that one. Hey, hey, hey. I want to say. You're competing as I, a I Oh, wait. You oh, did. Man. <laughs> See, I don't want to. Be like wrong on national television. Uh, see, I would think it was Naomi, right? Congratulations! It yes. is indeed Naomi. Yes. I mean, no, no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question about. number eight Ooh, for whoa. Pastor Nemo. Bet. This mom was barren for years and promised the Lord that she would B. give her son to the Lord. A? She kept her promise, and when her son was old enough, she brought him to the priest. Was it A. Esther, B. Hannah? Or C, good old Aunt Jemima. Can I can I just yell this one out? Uh, don't yell. Oh, but you could call it out. It's Hannah. B. It is indeed B. And Pastor Nemo is engaged, soon to be married to Hannah, not yeah. the same Hannah. No, right. just want to mm -hmm. make that clear. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Number nine. Number Pastor nine. Pastor Shane, your last one. This mom gave birth to Jesus's cousin. Was it A. Elizabeth, B. Bethany, or C. Mary? D. Jemima. No. Uh, <laughs> a. Elizabeth. It is indeed Elizabeth. Congratulations yes. on that one. And last but not least, we have this mom was a virgin when she gave birth. Pretty hard one. Was it A, Hannah? Was it B, Keziah? Or C, Mary? Get this right, man. If you get this wrong. They, they revoke your credentials. <laughs> what credentials? Uh, we're going to go with C, Mary. Congratulations. We have a winner. It is indeed Mary. But unfortunately, you guys ended in a tie. What? Yeah. I mean, there is Whoa. no competition. You guys are equally the same. Who has more kids? Wow. I have three going on four. Okay. So I guess you do win. All right. Okay. Yeah. Actual kids are like. <laughs> well, no, with these that are actual said, kids. With that <gasps> said, we are going to take a few moments. And speaking of moms in the Bible, this Sunday is actually Mother's Day. And we thought it would be cool to put something together for all you moms out there. So take a look at the screen. Hey moms, this Sunday is Mother's Day, as you know, and we thought it would be appropriate to honor you for all that you do. That's right. We put together a video montage of a bunch of different people saying and answering the question, why are you important to us? 
Hi, my name is Reese, and I love my mom because she is the nicest person you will ever meet. She does a lot of stuff around the house. I love you, Mom. What I like most about my mom is I can go to her with any problems, and she'll always support me with through anything, and she's always got my back. We love most about her mom is how much she cares for us and what she's willing to do to make us happy. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. So what I love most about my mom is how supportive she is of me. Um, she always goes to my soccer games and my volleyball games and all of my shows and my concerts and she just loves hearing me sing and she likes, she's just very supportive of me and you know, stuff that I do and you know, even though sometimes I give her a hard time, whether it be it's kind of funny or I'm just an angsty teen, she hasn't given me up yet, so. I think I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, I love you, Mom, and happy Mother's Day. I love most about my mom. She is like the most caring person out there, and I do not know what I'd do without her. So what I love about my mom is that she's always there for me, and whenever I need to talk to somebody, she's there. She's, like, open, and I just love that so much. Love you, Mom. I'm thankful for my mom always being my biggest supporter and always being there for me when I need it the most. Hi mom, what I like most about you is that you love me and that you've always been there when I need you. So I'd have to say the thing I love most about my mom is just the way that she serves and sacrifices for other people, even for people that she doesn't necessarily know. It's just a true testament to her character and the way that she was raised in the way that she's lived her life. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. We weren't able to get a video from every student, but if you are watching tonight, make sure you type in the comments what you appreciate most about your mom. From everybody here at Youth Group Live, we all want to say Happy Mother's Day. That was absolutely awesome. I know I can say personally that uh, my mom's always been one of my biggest encouragers, so shout out to you, Mom. Thank you so much. Would not be where I am without you. Love the heck out of you. Guys, I want to, uh, I want to, we're going to actually wrap up our series tonight. And if you've been with us since the beginning, you know we're preaching on what to do when you don't know what to do. I actually kicked the series off, and conveniently I'm finishing the series out. And it just so happens to be that uh, I'm the perfect person for this because I hardly ever know what to do. So it just works out. So uh, tonight, tonight, guys, the title of tonight's message, I want to call it What to Do uh, When You Don't Know What to Do is You Pursue Peace Instead of Payback. Peace over Payback. So uh, if you guys, if you've been with us since the beginning, you remember we were discussing the, uh, the story of, of Joseph. If you remember that his brother sold him into slavery, he goes to Egypt, he's a slave there, he gets sent into prison, and uh, after just turmoil and turmoil and turmoil, uh, finally some events happen that he's elevated to the place of governor over all of Egypt, and the things that were supposed to destroy him ended up becoming his blessings. And uh, we were coming to the point in the story where there's a famine over all of the land and Joseph's brothers come to Egypt looking for help and they come before Joseph not realizing who it is. And so that's where we're going to start the story off tonight, guys. Let me start real quick with a prayer and a word from God. God, we want to thank you today for your word. Thank you so much that you give us your word, that you entrust us with your very son, we ask that you would just communicate it to our hearts, break down the walls, break down the barriers, soften our hearts, open our ears. We want to hear from you, Lord Jesus. In your holy name we pray, amen and amen. Genesis 45, 1 through 7 says, Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all of his attendants. And he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him and Pharaoh's household heard about it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. And then Joseph said to his brothers, come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I'm your brother Joseph, the one that you sold into Egypt. And now don't be distressed and don't be angry with yourself for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now, there's been a famine in the land, and for the next five years, there'll be no plowing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant of, on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. And he kissed all of his brothers and wept over them. Afterwards, his brothers talked with him. They had communion with him. And it goes on to say in a later chapter in Genesis 50, 20, it says, What you intended to harm me, God intended it for good 
to accomplish what is being done. And uh, guys, when I was growing up, I had three favorite places in the world, three absolutely favorite places. My favorite places were the movie theaters, Disney World, and the emergency room here at Chambersburg Hospital. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking one of these is not like the others, and I totally disagree with you. Here's why. So we'd only go to the movies on Friday nights after school let out for the weekend. Nothing else in the world was going on. I didn't have to be back at school until Monday, and uh, I could sleep in all day Saturday, and the movie theater was like the gateway into the weekend. It was the gateway into freedom from responsibility. And when I was there, I knew it was all smooth sailing for the next two days. Disney World, well, Disney World's self-explanatory. If you've ever been there, it's, it's a made-up place where the whole world gets shut out. It was engineered to create the illusion that you're exiting the world and entering a place of imagination. It's just like Instagram. And where the only thing that matters is the turkey leg in one hand and the sweet cinnamon-coated fried dough that is known as the churro in the other. Where Mickey Mouse is king and you can literally ride a log flume surrounded by talking puppets from a rather racist cartoon that was uh, made in the 50s. And the emergency room, well, let's see. The emergency room was the best. You see, growing up, I had the tendency of getting hurt quite often. And when you're in the ER, you can pretty much guarantee that you won't have to do anything for the next, at least the next day and a half. You don't have to go to school you don't have to go to church or your sister's ballet recital or your mom's Mary Kay appointment. Shout out to you, mom, for dragging me to all of those. Thank you very much. Uh, I know how to apply foundation. Uh, you could basically kiss goodbye any responsibility you had for at least the next day and a half because you're in the ER. Now, you might be thinking, well, the movie theater is a lot more accessible than an ER. But, you know, I didn't always have money to pay for it. And, you know, what if my parents said no? And I hated asking for things from them anyway. So the nice thing about the ER is that I didn't have to ask to go. I could just show them, hey, we got to go. So I developed a habit of getting hurt good enough to warrant a visit, but not bad enough to stop me from playing video games. It's a good skill to have if uh, I would highly suggest you learn how to do that. And I know I made it sound like I, I did it intentionally, but I swear it wasn't. I swallowed a rock once when I was three and uh, or four. I was or five. I'm being honest with you, I was five. Or truly, it was eight. I was eight. Last year, it was last year. And uh, all right, I was seven years old when I swallowed the rock, but it totally wasn't my fault. I wouldn't have thought about it at all, except my mom, had, I asked if I could hold it, and she, she said to me, uh, don't put it anywhere near your mouth. So I wouldn't have thought about it had she not said anything. So that one's on you, mom. Another time I was seven, and I just watched my first James Bond movie, probably a little too early to do that. And James Bond, it was actually GoldenEye, and the first scene where James Bond jumps off of this dam in the middle of nowhere attached to a tension cord, and he casually just, just glides down this dam. Um, oh, I thought, oh, that's the coolest thing anyways. Oh, it's so cool. But, so I had a bunk bed. It was pretty tall. And I also had a dog. And you know those, those cool retractable leashes that you can get for your dog when you walk them? It's kind of like a tension cord. Well, what's really interesting about them is that they're actually rated by weight. And I don't know what I weighed back then, but I'm sure looking back that it was more than whatever that leash was rated for. <sighs> then I started to get smart about it, and uh, I, I learned to minimize the pain, but in maximize the injury. That's when I learned that you could purchase things to only injure part of you. I, anyways, you don't need to hear about that. But the thing about growing up is that hurting is inevitable. You're going to get hurt. I learned that as a kid, having a kid myself. It's just that the first time she got injured, um, oh, I, I panicked. I cried. And now it's just like a daily occurrence. She's going to walk into stuff and she cries. And uh, I know it's wrong, but it, it, it's kind of cute. and It makes me laugh. And I just, I love it. Because I know that she's okay. She's just reacting to the pain. When I started to get smart about it, sorry, the thing about growing up is that, that hurting is inevitable. Hurting is inevitable. Uh, Benjamin Franklin said there's only two things certain in life, and that's death and taxes, and I totally disagree. I think that, that life, uh, the thing about life is that uh, it's certain that you're going to get hurt. So what happens, though, when you can't minimize the pain? What happens when you're, you're, you're not responsible for the pain? You didn't cause it. What happens when there's no ER to take away the pain, or at least to take away your burdens, so you can focus on getting better? You see, when you, you hurt yourself physically, um, with the exception of serious accidents, obviously, healing is pretty much involuntary. You get some band-aids, you get some stitches, your body's going to take care of itself. It's going to happen. You're going to get better. It'll take care of itself over time. But when someone else hurts you, 
When someone else hurts you, healing is entirely optional. Hurt is inevitable, but healing is optional. We've all been there. We've all been hurt because of what someone else chose to do. Maybe it's something that they said to hurt you uh, right where you were already insecure. That's happened to me in the past. Maybe it's something they did like break a promise. That's happened to me in the past. Uh, shout out to all my ex-girlfriends. But in the end, it doesn't matter that they did it, just that it happened and now you're left hurting and broken. And there's so many of us who've accepted what happened to us, the hurt that's happened to us, and we change our view of ourselves. We're no longer a person. I hear this generation say so often that they're damaged goods. You can hear it in the vocabulary that they use. Trash. If you saw the last Toy Story 4, it, it just resonated with this last generation. Uh, Forky was, was convinced that he was trash, and I hear that all the time. As most people, guys, most people, though, they'll try to get payback on the person who hurt them. But the common theme that I see with this generation, the common theme that I see today, is that we get payback on ourselves. When you consider yourselves damaged goods, you treat yourself like you deserved it. It's the reason why we have such awful coping mechanisms like drugs and alcohol. It's in line with what you think you deserve. Yeah, it makes sense that I would, I would get high. It makes sense that I would, get, I would party. It's what people like me do. The truth is, is that you don't even like doing these things. You just do them because it affirms what you already believe. that you're damaged goods, so you deserve it. But the point is that you get payback one way or the other. If you can't get in on the person who hurts you, you get in on yourself because you need some kind of control. You had it taken away from you and you need some kind of control. And you're too afraid to challenge it because you don't know the truth. Genesis 50, 20 says, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. You see, payback promises you control. God promises you restoration. God promises you peace. The funny thing about payback is that it promises control, but whether you get it on the person who hurts you or you get it on yourself, you're still acting like a victim. And what do victims have? They have no control. They didn't have it in the first place. So you act like a victim. You're never going to have control. But God says what you intended to harm me, God intended for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. If you remember the first week we started with the series, it's, I said that your biggest curses could become your greatest blessings. If you'll pursue peace instead of payback, and the question I have for you tonight is what hurt are you holding on to hoping it can get you payback? You see, Joseph, Joseph relinquished that payback when he told his brothers when he told his brothers, don't be afraid and don't be mad at yourselves. What you intended to harm me, God intended for good. Is it, is it what your parents told you when they were upset with you? Is that what you're holding on to? Is it what the bullies at school say about you to your friends? Is it what your ex says about you behind your back? Is it what you tell yourself about your worth when no one's around? What hurt are you holding on to? It's keeping you from receiving peace. You see, peace can never come through payback. And you'll never have peace. You'll never have restoration until you forfeit your right to payback. Like Joseph did when he told his brothers, don't be mad at yourselves. What you intended to hurt me, God intended for good. Peace, guys. Peace can never come through payback. We can only find peace where we're willing to forgive. Forgiveness is the path to peace. There's a, there's a chapter in Matthew. Jesus is, is giving parables and he said, blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God. You see that if you've accepted Christ in your heart, if, if you're a child of the Lord, you, you by definition are a peacemaker. You're a peacemaker. Forgiveness is the path to peace. And the difficult thing about forgiveness is that all of our situations are different. All the things that have hurt us, all the people that have hurt us, they're all different. So I'm not able to tell somebody specifically, well, how do you forgive this person? How do you, how, what, what are the practical steps to forgiving? I don't have an answer. It starts with blessing your enemy. It starts with blessing your enemy. You see, Joseph had in that moment 
all the opportunity, all the authority to completely destroy the people who sold him into slavery, who, by the way, originally planned to kill him, which might have been better. At the beginning, I'm sure Joseph would have been thinking, death is more preferable than being sold as a slave. I know my worth and now I'm a slave. But he decided to bless his enemies. And what did he get? He got peace and he got restoration. There are too many people. There are too many people holding on to their pain. Holding on to their right for payback. Thinking that it's going to get them peace. My prayer for you, my prayer for this generation, my prayer for your generation is that you would forfeit to God the right that you have to pay back. Experience peace as he intended to. Christ even says in the the New Testament that he came so that you can experience peace. A peace that can't be taken away and we experience that through forgiveness and we forgive by blessing our enemies, by praying for our enemies. Guys, I'm just going gonna, gonna to close in prayer. This is what I, I want you to do. Everybody, just, just close your eyes and bow your head. Just pray this prayer with me. God, we want to thank you for, for peace, the peace that you promised us, the healing, the restoration that you promised us. The healing and the restoration that you promised us. And so I pray, pray right now, God, that you would just help us to open up our, our, our spiritual hand that's holding on to the pain and relinquish it day by day. We pray for the people that hurt us. We ask that you would bless them too. Yes, even them too. Bring them close to your heart also. So that we can experience peace. So that we can experience restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We trust you, Jesus. In your holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, guys. Amen. Carl, that was so good. That was so good, buddy. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Thank Hello, you friend of mine. It's good to have you back. It's good it's to good have you back. back. That was a good word. Guys, it's been a really, really cool series talking about what to do when we don't know what to do, learning about the life of Joseph and how uh, things did not go exactly well for him uh, in the beginning, but God absolutely used it all for good. Next week, we are starting a brand new series called whoop, whoop. Love Hate. Love Hate. Um, it is, as you can imagine, about love and hate. Listen, we all have people that uh, really just get on our nerves. We all have people that really huh? are just tough what? to love sometimes. Are you referring to anybody here? Not at all. So we're going to talk about how to love those that are just sometimes unlovable. And that kicks off next week here on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. But now... We've talked about so many things tonight. Um, We've talked about the word. We've played some games. We've learned some things about kids' ministry. But most of all, it's the most important day coming up on Sunday, and it is Mother's Day. And so I thought it would be fun. We're we're all into TV. We're all into uh, TV. And so I thought it would be fun to talk about. (laughs) Too much of it. (laughs) Talk about (laughs) um, favorite TV moms, all right? This is not, I want to throw it out from the beginning. We've done a lot of arguing tonight. This is not a time for arguing. This is a time for peace. Right. This is a time for peace. Mm. And this is talking. And honor. And honor. A time to talk about good, wholesome TV moms and which one. Uh, which ones are our favorite? Um, so I will lead us off because I've had much time to think about this. I've honestly, it was hard to drill down, but I'm gonna have to go with uh, Claire Huxtable, Cosby Show. All right. Uh, good now, answer. Listen, good listen, answer. Listen. Here's the thing: those teenagers, uh, Theo and Rudy and Rudy, the the other kids Theo. that I can't remember. Uh, listen, those kids got into some situations. They navigated the hard stuff. Dating, uh, puberty, all like teenage things that are hard for a parent to deal with. That's true. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. That are hard for a parent hard, to deal with. Right. Uh, and she handled it. I mean, as to be married to Bill Cosby, they, it, yeah. she had a lot of teenage things <laughs> to deal with. Right? So that's, that's my pick. Yeah. <sighs> Go ahead. That's good. Yeah, Someone Carl, else, please just talk. Go next. Someone <laughs> else, please <laughs> talk. Now. Can, I, can I give two? I want to give two. I'm going to give two. I don't care. Okay. I'm give two. All right, here we go. So my first one is probably Beverly Goldberg from uh, the Goldbergs. And the reason for this is that Jewish moms and my mother, who is Hispanic, and Hispanic moms have a lot in common in that they have a really hard time cutting the umbilical cord. Uh, my mom <laughs> is not watching, so I'm safe to just say this. Yeah, just... Got to cut it, mom. Just give me some freedom. My favorite television mom is the mom uh, from uh, Full House. The one who was not there. No, 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 not Jesse. The one who was not there. Again, because as as someone who grew up with a Hispanic mother and wanted some freedom, 
my favorite one is the one that was not there because, you know, didn't she they die? didn't have a mom just breathing down their neck all the time. I feel like Carl just <laughs> used these TV show characters to talk more about his own mom. I have some. Oh, I have so some. Oh I'm, jo I'm, jo I'm entirely joking. I love my mom to death. Can, she's can I just, go? She's a great we're mom. Gonna, we're going to pass down. Dude, I, Mike, got a, I got a good mom. Mike. All right. So this may be a show that you've never watched, but Reba McIntyre. Oh, okay. Reba. So if you've ever watched ah, the TV yeah, show she Reba. Sings too, right? Dude, yeah, not, only, she not only in the entire TV show is she going through a divorce. She has a daughter who is pregnant mm. in high school. Wow. That's Ooh. huge. And then um, not only that, but then her high school, her daughter's high school boyfriend moves in with them because his parents kick them out. And so she's going through all this kind of stuff, trying to keep a job, keep a house, keep you know, everything else going up and yeah. on. And she does it. And okay. so that's, can you sing the theme song to the show for us? She what? Can you sing the theme song to the show for us? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could. I don't think so. Not offhand. Okay. Pastor well, Aaron, what about you? Yeah, I told you guys one back there. I'm excited about and this I've one. And I've already changed it. Oh, no. I give it to us. All right, give us both. Who you give got? Us both. Mm, uh, the first one was uh, Chris Jenner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Uh, my so first one. one is Kate Gosselin. No, okay, okay. Here it is. <laughs> you got to pick it a real is, one. It is um, June Shannon. Do you know June Shannon? No. Uh, also not. goes by Mama June. Also mom of Honey Boo Boo. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, technically, wow. technically, I technically, know the uh, technically yeah. a TV mom. I would just okay. like to give her a shout out because talk about a, a woman that supports her kids. She was driving... <laughs> she was driving that little girl all around to those, oh. those pageants. <laughs> the, dance, yeah. the, the, the beauty pageants. That's, yeah. that's expensive so. stuff. And in these... Uh, past couple of years, she's gone through a personal transformation herself. She and really has. It's incredible her, just to her see her the journey that she's on. She took care of her family. Now she's <laughs> taking care of herself. I can't even You're keep a straight a face <laughs> because of Daniel over there. But Mama June for sure. Mama June. That's a good one. Yeah. That That's good really one. good. Pastor Shane, what about you? Give us a TV. This mom. was a hard one because, um, as most of you know, I do love. I love television. I love also love the TV comedies. Mom. I have two, and I'm going to give one very brief. If you don't Jill. say one that I'm thinking of, go ahead. <laughs> Jill from, from Home Improvement, one of my favorite shows all in the whole right, entire all world. All right. You <laughs> have to deal answer. with a ton of things uh, from, you know, Tim Allen and all the, the <laughs> stuff <laughs> happening. Oh. Uh, so that is one. But a modern day one. Uh, one show me and my wife religiously watch is This Is Us nice. and Beth. Oh no! I'm going nice. back because I was thinking Rebecca. Awesome. Which one's but Beth? Beth is uh, yeah, yeah. she's um, she's she's a strong woman, as you can see in the show. I mean, she tells yeah. her husband how oh. what it is. You know Beth? Yeah, yeah like that's she, like every other my wife watches that show. She's just yeah. She's like I just I if she if, is if, on it, though. if I was a mom, I'd model yeah. my momhood out of her. So mm, well, that's good. That's good. how about yeah. in the comments below? Your let us know your mom? favorite TV show mom. Honestly, I was Wait. even thinking about um the the Brady mom. Uh, uh, Carol Brady? Tom, no, Tom Brady's mom. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was good. Um, how do we not talk about oh, uh, Pam Beasley? Pam Beasley, uh, she changed after she, she became a little unstable. Mom. Okay, yeah. Mer right. maybe yeah. a little. Meredith, like lying yeah. about that job. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Meredith, <laughs> well, Meredith, well, Meredith. Well, Meredith. Let's, Meredith let's wrap. Let's wrap. Let's wrap. Here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, this is, I, I mean, this is my second time on here, and I'm really. Well, last week, I I've been really getting into TikToks. You guys, Daniel, being my office mate, has talked about TikToks, and I really this like. I would yeah. love to see. Like, did did you guys make some this week? Or? That was last week. That was last week? Yeah, last week but we did a TikTok You guys don't challenge. have any, like, yeah. good ones this week? Uh, I don't know if you guys had any time, but I, I've been into it. So I, I put one together, just a little something I threw together. And Do you uh, mind if we see it? I'll, Can we I'll watch play it? it for you if you don't mind. Dude, I would love to. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, Alyssa, back there, let's, let's hit it. And here's my ticker. <laughs> Titanic. Yo, I thought that Nemo That's didn't good. have a shirt on. Wow, that definitely was good. Was that was, I, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty good. There was definitely yeah. room for both. He didn't have to pull me in the water. <laughs> right. But, but we also gave an alternate ending. Definitely I appreciate it. Can we actually, can we watch that again? Because okay. I, I, I like the beauty of that one. Yeah. The woman or just the whole thing? <laughs> Where'd you get that wig? He looks like Billy Ray Cyrus. Your face, your face oh, Hey, yeah. Montana's dad. Spot on. Oh, another. So I died. That's the point where I died. Titanic 2. And he, and he lives. 
I, it's a classic love story. That is a classic one. Classic. Yeah. That's a yeah. classic one. Nice. That's really good. good job, Aaron. I yeah. I had to learn two effects: how to put a song into a TikTok, mm -hmm. and then how to do the water filter. Oh, um, that's took me good. about two days, but I got there. So okay. good yeah. job. Nice, yeah. man. That's good. I so have, I have a lot of issues with the Titanic. I thought that was a better version. Just oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah. I, I think I, you should I change Cameron. Be he must not have a good mom. So. Did you guys have more? Yeah, I actually, like, my wife and I have been scrolling through TikTok at night. Yeah. Just, you know, doing different fun stuff, just watching it and whatever. Amen. So we've been trying to do a bunch of different Wait, like, so you made another one too? Ones. Yeah, yeah, I actually did. Like, you made one? Yeah, posted it on the Instagram channel thing, oh, whatever it is. Can we, do we have it? Let's watch, watch it? it. Let's watch it. Time to check my social media, yeah. To see who loves me online. Hashtag bless life. Yo, is that you? Oh, like, was that your voice? Goodness. No, it's that not. Was good. If it was my Whoa. voice, that would have been wow. awesome. Mike, what that kind of car are you sitting on in there? Mike. That, that was pretty good. Pastor Mike, that was awesome. That was that was can good. we watch that it again? Clever. Yeah, let's watch it again. Like, we, we have, yeah. Time to check my <laughs> social media, yeah. <laughs> to see who loves me online. <laughs> Hashtag bless life. <laughs> Nice. So what? for real, fun fact: in wow. the glasses of Bless Life, it says hashtag Bless Life. You're lying. Wow. wow. No, it wow. Really does. Did you go? You went to Chick Fil A to film that. I went to Chick Fil A. To <laughs> Did film anybody that? question why you're sitting on top of your No, head? no. But there was employees inside, like who were eating. So I'm sure that they were wondering, like, <laughs> what's, what's going that on? Doing? That was but awesome. Wow. That was really good. Well, well, thank yeah. you guys for making those. That yeah. was yeah. a little, yeah, little flair. Just for the gospel, just, you know. Pretty cool. This is the gospel. Do you have? I mean, like, now that you guys have, do you guys? So, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna come out right and say that. You made it. Let, let, let me explain. Wow. On my phone, there's 4,557 photos. Of those 4,557 mm -hmm. photos, 4,532 of them are of my daughter Amelia. She's so stinking cute. Yeah. And uh, when I downloaded TikTok, um, just she's hilarious on camera. Just <laughs> you just start filming, and she does funny things. And most TikToks you can apply to your child. Most of them. That's true. And just like tone it down a notch, and so I kind of I made one with millions. Cute. You wow, should look at man. it. Yeah, you let's, should definitely let's let's look at out. it. Oh, hi there, friend. It's me. You're human. I take care of you, cause you're a little baby. Let me give you your boops. Boop. I love her nice. so much. Nice. I love her so nice. much. She's so good. Super cute. The yeah. cute factor. The cute oh factor. Gosh. You went for the cute factor so and it much. worked, okay. my friend. Let's good do job. it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. It wasn't funny, but it was cute. Oh, hi there, friend. It's me. You're human. I take care of you because you're a little baby. Let me give you your boops. Boop. Nice. Dude, that is cute. Oh, that was yeah. adorable. She's one and she doesn't have hair except on the back of her head. That What's that audio from? What's that? It sounds Dude. like a mixture of Jar Jar Binks and Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a matter of I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was that really? Is it I have no idea what it is, oh, dude. I, oh. yeah. I'm just confused. Let us know in the comments if you know what that's from. Please yeah. do. Yeah. It yeah. really <laughs> sounds like Mario <laughs> and Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> what a combo. Yeah. Dang. That's well, wow. I mean, Daniel, did you oh, make one? No, I won last week, so. Yeah. I'm yeah, just kidding. Did. Of yeah. course I made you another made one. one. Right. You're not gonna I'm not gonna go right, out like man. that. I did, I made another one. Alright, let's see yours, man. <laughs> yeah, <Nice. you laughs> would not <laughs> believe you how many times because you might have missed that. <laughs> yeah. Good. You gotta play yeah. it again. <laughs> that was mad skill. You uh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of times That's you can crazy. pour water on yourself in one Dude. day. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a we lot. just saw how much water. It's a lot. It was it was a lot. Yeah. I mean, that was like a 15-second clip. How, how long? How hard could it be? It was three hours. So three <laughs> hours today. Oh um, I literally Ooh. just sat there at my desk pouring. I had, to, I had to lock the door today and tell the rest of our office staff, please don't come in here. I'm working. Oh, oh man. man. Did Josh come in and you yell at him? No. It's youth ministry. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is what I do for the kids. That's what it was. It that was, was fun. That was crazy. That was fun. Well, that was wait. But... Uh, who won out of all of us? Yeah, that's true. I don't want to talk. Yeah, about I really wish that we could have had you and Pastor Nemo do something beforehand. Um, you know what? Cool, um, I'm not on TikTok, but I've had some friends help me in the past few days. 
Um, we actually have one. We made you guys one. made Do you one. You guys want to see it? I, I feel like this might have been planned. This is my debut TikTok ever. Genuinely have not seen this yet. You haven't. All right, very excited. Go ahead and watch this. Okay. What in the world? Oh no, I hate this song. I love it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes. Get out! No! no. <laughs> What's that? Wasn't it the one that you know? <laughs> Get I out of yeah. practice? No, I mean, not, we needed a mirror. Not, not only was it a TikTok. Definitely not only was it a TikTok with two of you in the bathroom, <laughs> it was not even the men's right. bathroom. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, the. The, ba the mirrors. The that we needed a full-length mirror because we that had to get it. <laughs> well, so now yeah. it's up to them to decide. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can't pick a winner because now you're in the I, mix. I'm, I'm part of it. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't honestly, pick that. Honestly, I have to put my vote in for myself. I'm good. kidding. Mike, honestly. I, I would killer. go with Mike. Yeah, if we're Yours doing that. was definitely the the strangest. Like, how did you do that? Right. But his That's was good. just so creative. It was, it was, he went to Chick-fil-A for it. And then Figured cutest. I mean. Carl's. Yeah. Cutest. Yeah, I wasn't in the running for funniest, so I thought. I'll play a different game. Pretty much Thank my you. sports history my whole life. But, but most <laughs> emotionally moving, Pastor Aaron, I'd give it to you. That was, yes. that was touching. Yeah, I'm was, a ghost was right emotional. now because I literally died in that scene. Exactly. It was so good. <laughs> Do not so try that at home. Can tell us, the water? That's yeah. Please tell us in the comments below who made your favorite TikTok of the evening. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, most so favorites good. better. It's good. That. It's good. Guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight on Youth Group Live. Uh, it's been a pleasure to go over this series with you on what to do when you don't know what to do. If you remember tonight, we said, when you don't know what to do, pursue peace over payback. Guys, thank you again. We're looking forward to next week launching our next series. We've had so much fun with you tonight. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day.